In this video, I'm going to show how to use a message queue for the communication of two processes, which are run by different business partners, each using its own process engine. We want to deploy these two processes, which communicate via message flow to different process engines. For the communication between the two systems, we use the message broker RabbitMQ. Such a message broker provides a powerful infrastructure for the reliable exchange of messages. RabbitMQ offers many features, but here we only use the most basic one, the message queue. The systems that are connected with the message broker can write and read messages to and from such a message queue. Let's have a look at the top process. Instead of exchanging messages directly with the seller's processes at the bottom, it will now exchange its messages with support processes that handle the interaction with the message queue. When the upper process sends a request to the first support process, this support process forwards the message contents to the message queue. For this purpose, a simple connector to RabbitMQ has been programmed. It is used in the service task forward request to MQ. We need to provide the following parameter values. The address of the RabbitMQ server, the name of the message queue requests, and the message contents. In this case, a simple string with the unique request ID, the desired item, and the amount. The second support process is responsible for fetching received quotations from the respective message queue and forwarding its contents to the top process. It checks in regular intervals if there is an entry in the message queue quotations. Here, the same RabbitMQ connector as before is used. If you don't provide message contents to this connector, it returns the contents of a message found in the message queue, or an empty string if no entry has been found. The second process runs in the Sellers Bonita system, which has been installed on a different computer. For this presentation, a remote desktop connection is used for showing what happens on the other computer. This process also communicates with some support processes. The bottom process checks in regular intervals whether a request or an answer to a quotation has been received. The other support process puts a newly created quotation into the respective message queue. Here we have an overview of all interactions. When a request has been created, it is put into the message queue requests. The bottom support process in the second Bonita system fetches the request and sends a BPMN message that starts the seller's process. In this process, a quotation can be created. The support process in the middle then puts the quotation contents to the message queue quotations. The first system support process retrieves quotations from MQ, fetches the quotation from the queue and forwards it to the buyer's process. When the buyer has decided whether he accepts the quotation, the bottom support process puts the answer to the answers message queue, where it is collected by the bottom support process in the second system and forwarded as a BPMN message to the seller's process. We start the process in the buyer system and we order two loudspeakers. In the administration portal of the message broker RabbitMQ, we see that a message has been written into the queue requests. Now it is gone. This means that the seller system support process has removed it and used it for the BPMN message that starts the actual seller process. Therefore, we now see the first task, create quotation. We can enter a price and submit the quotation. This again can be monitored in the RabbitMQ portal. The rest of the process is executed in the same way. 
The two processes are coupled very loosely via the message broker. Since the messages stay in the message queue until they are removed, it doesn't cause any problems if one of the systems is temporarily unavailable. The process is continued when the system resumes and accesses the message queue again. None of the involved systems needs to know anything about the opposite system. Therefore, it would be possible to replace one of the two Bonita systems with another BPMS or even with another IT system such as an ERP system or custom software. In order to demonstrate this, the seller's BPMS is replaced by a small client written in Java. From the buyer system's perspective, this Java client behaves exactly like the previously used seller's process. The only condition, the involved systems must respect the exchange protocol. That means they must comply with the order and structure of the messages exchanged via the message broker.